Jog along song is a song about something you love. Something you've got or something you're dreaming of. And may you have happy hug along songs your whole life through. And plenty of hugging for a very huggable you. Hugs are what children need and what puppies love and want plenty of. Hugs are a fabulous invention. And maybe you've discovered that hugs are as good to give as they are to get. Would you like a set? Hey, maybe I forgot to mention. Hugs come in lots of feelings and different sizes. Ooh, are you so depressed? Nothing that you do means a thing to you. Friends, chocolate cake, playing ball, catching bugs. Well, maybe you can use a bundle of hugs. Are a way to say hip hooray for you, 'cause you sure came through. Hugs say a lot of things are worth saying, and hugging isn't only for kids or for grown-up folks. And to prove it's true, check your local zoo. Watch all the bears and monkeys playing. Nothing that you do means a thing to you, Jordan. Tia, Joshua, Gabrielle, Remy. Right now, I'd like to sing a hug-along song about books, only because it's this little book, a book that I wrote, that brought us together. We decided to turn it into a whole lot of songs and bring in some great kids for me to sing with and have fun with. And here we are. Hey, maybe you ought to write a book or a poem. If you don't know what to write about, just do what I did: write about anything you like, like blankets. Come with me for a second. Do you have a favorite blanket? One with the alphabet on it, or where bunnies hop around? Blankets have a way of making you feel safe, like you're being hugged all the time, and you can feel it the minute you first start getting into bed. You pull your blankets back into a triangle, 
And then you slip your legs into them and then slide all the way down. I like blankets. Me and my blankets were really a pair. Wherever I go, my blanket is there. Just about anywhere you will see my blanket and me. Out in the schoolyard, before it gets dark, up in that big tree. Way down by the park If you look long enough You will see my blanket and me You don't have to decide now, but it's fun to think about. Will you be a painter or a president? An actor or an astronaut? A doctor or a discoverer? You don't have to just pick one either. You can pick two or even three if you want to. When you grow up, you could think about different things all day. They call that a philosopher. Or you could take care of a zoo so you could see all your favorite animals every day. And just because you wanted to be something yesterday doesn't mean that you can't pick something different today. I wonder what you'll be when you grow up. What a world, check it out. And as you move about Place to place, spot to spot All the same it is not Look some more and you'll see All the things you could be And it's fun thinking through Every possible you Take the time to examine The possibilities Examine The possibilities Take a moment if you please, considering the possibilities A doctor It could be A dentist mm, Let's wait and see A lawyer But is it me? It's still a possibility A dancer I can move my feet A rock star It could be neat A grocer I love to eat Possibly a possibility the possibilities Examine The possibilities Take a moment Several if you please Considering the possibilities An artist I love to paint A teacher No complaint 
an acrobat. My mom would faint, but it's a possibility. A secretary. I like to type. A plumber. We got a leaky pipe. An astronaut. Oh, I'm afraid of heights, but it's a possibility. Just examine the possibilities. Considering the possibilities, just examine the possibilities. Examine every possibility. Take a moment. Several, if you please. Considering the possibilities. Possibilities. Whether your mom and dad have read my book, but there's someone in there that you can see, and they can't. It's true. The smaller you are, the better you see him. Only a kid can see me. Only a kid can see me. Your father can't. Your mother can't. Your brother. If he's older, can't. If you're 22 or 23. Me, you cannot see. I guarantee. Am I here? Who said yes? Well, you must be kind of older. I would guess. growing time. Seeds turn into plants, plants turn into trees, trees turn into forests. Nighttime is a growing time for you too. You may not see it happening. You may not look any different in the mirror the next day. But when you stand up to that pencil mark on the back of your door, or the next time your mother says it's time to buy new pants, or the next time Aunt Agatha kisses you on the forehead and says, my, how you've grown. You'll know your body is doing just what it's supposed to be doing. Growing. I want a toy, I need a drink. What game can I play? That's how it was, and it seems like only yesterday. Now it's a hug, a quick goodbye. You're on your way I think you're growing up I can recall when you didn't care What clothes you'd wear And if you came in covered with dirt You didn't care now it's a good half hour for you to comb your hair I think you're grown up Every time that we're together I see something different, something new Every day that passes, I see less of me and more of you.
tomorrow. You know that's a great word. Tomorrow you're one day closer to Christmas, one day closer to your birthday, one day closer to trying something new. Forget yesterday. If you haven't been able to hop on one foot, maybe tomorrow. If you haven't been able to reach the light switch, maybe tomorrow. If you haven't been able to jump this far, maybe tomorrow. You know, if you try really hard, you may find that tomorrow you can do something you can't do today. Just like the bee. Theoretically, a bee can't fly. Aerodynamically, he shouldn't even try. And philosophically, he should accept the notion that his wings are too short, his body's too fat. But only too frequently, you look and see a smiling, happy, soaring bumblebee. And only because a little bee way back in days gone by shouted, I will fly. Theoretically, a bird can't talk like an octopus would find it hard to walk. And philosophically, a bird should feel his life's complete if he can just chirp. If he can just tweet But look at the parrots in the world today Who love to sit around and chat away And only because a parrot once set up a mighty squawk And said, I will talk Theoretically, a whale can't float he should sink just like an overloaded boat And he should accept that swimming is beyond his reach And be quite content To bask on the beach But look at the many whales around today who swim from here up to the Arctic Bay And only because there was a whale who shouted And I quote I will float And like the whale at sea The parrot and the bee Who made their dreams come true If you believe as they can be something new the very latest song or one of those oldies where you can't help 
singing along. Where does the sun go at night? Ever wonder? The world is so big and round that the sun just can't get to it all at once. So when you are getting ready for bed, the sun is going to another part of the world where someone just your age is getting up and eating breakfast and getting ready for school. The sun never stops shining. You just can't always see it, but it's always there. And you know one thing for sure, just as your name is well, whatever your name is, the sun will be back tomorrow morning, right on time. At our house, we have a rule. You can take one toy to bed. It's a hard choice to make. You don't want something that's too hard, like a truck or a train. You don't want something with too many pieces, like a puzzle. You don't want something messy like crayons. You don't want something that makes a lot of noise, like a toy piano. And it's never a good idea to pick the doll that wants to play and jump on your bed and gets you into trouble. You want to choose a good toy. Try the stuffed bunny missing one ear over in the corner that looks like he doesn't want to be alone. Maybe he could be your favorite toy tonight. Of course, the favorite toy rule doesn't always work out. Sometimes picking a favorite toy can be hard. Let me show you what I mean. Got it. Here it is. This is the toy. This is the toy. 
This has become my absolutely favorite toy Of all of the toys scattered about This is the one I cannot live without But when I'm in bed I need it real close by And if it's not then I begin to cry I have other things I really enjoy But I want to say quite clearly and sincerely Here's my absolutely favorite toy Except for the bear right over there That has become my absolutely favorite toy This is the one, this is the best And it means more to me than all the rest And if I lost it I'd be all in tears And maybe I wouldn't sleep for 20 years I have other things I kind of enjoy But if you're anxious to know, no, no, oh no Here's my absolutely favorite toy oh, Except for the ball Right by the wall That has become my absolutely favorite toy But then there is this And then there is this And then there is this this and then there is T-H-I-S this and then there is T-H-A-T that I have other things I really enjoy but I want to say quite clearly and sincerely here's my absolutely favorite toy here's my Promise me something. Promise me that you will always remember one thing. You are loved and always will be. Not because you've done something special, although it's nice when you do, and not because you haven't done anything wrong, although it's swell when you don't. You are loved because you are you, and that can never change, and that will never change.
And just as you are, you've made this into one of the happiest times I've ever had. If you were here right now, ooh, I'd give you such a hug. Hugs are what children need and what puppies love and want plenty of. Hugs are a fabulous invention. And maybe you've discovered that hugs are as good to give as they are to get. Would you like a set? Hey, maybe I forgot to mention. Hugs can be soft and light. Hugs can be squeezy tight. Hugs come in lots of feelings and different sizes. Ooh, are you so depressed? Nothing that you do means a thing to you. Friends, chocolate cake, playing ball, catching bugs. Well, maybe you can use a bundle of hugs. Hugs are a way to say hip hooray for you, cause you sure came through. Hugs say a lot of things are worth saying. And hugging isn't only for kids or for grown-up folks. And to prove it's true, check your local zoo. Watch all the bears and monkeys. Playing. Hugs can be soft and light. Hugs can be squeezy tight. Hugs come in lots of feelings and different sizes. Ooh, are you so depressed? Nothing that you do means a thing to you. Just say